Rumors are true. We're back and playing Peglin, a game I'm very good at. Um, the board will contain one additional crit. Refresh clears nearby pegs. Attack steal more damage to slimes. Not necessary. Let me get an additional crit. And also run the casino. Good point. Oh, hold on. I need to... Okay. It wouldn't let me complete my prediction from earlier. Did the casino... Oh, it already ran. Okay. Will NL win this one? Yes, no. You know what? I'm just going to be honest with you. You do not need a... a I, you need a more specific casino. Will NL win this Peglin run? Yes. No. No. Yes. And you know what? There's a two-minute bet for you. Okay, here we go. How many... Ba That's our multimodal bet. How many bounces will we get before the end of this shot? One. Three to ten. Eleven to seventeen. Nah, uh, you get the idea. Alright, just miss everything on this first shot. It could be worse. What difficulty is this? Um... It's like the Canadian band who sang Defy. Default. We have one more creature to spawn. Drop me here, don't hit the bomb. Awful. I mean, it's a good joke if you're my age. Sick reference. I I loved Default when I was a kid. I remember... One of, I, and I've told this before, but it lives rent-free in my head. One of the most memorable days of my adolescent life. Went to tennis lessons in the morning. Luge lessons in Rangoon. Um, after that, went to HMV. Bought Default's album, because I love the song Wasting My Time. You're not real afraid to feel I'm wasting my time. Uh, later that day was my friend's... 13th birthday party, went over to his house, and then here's where it gets really good. Watched um, Scary Movie, like the home video release of Scary Movie, with no chaperones. A formative moment in my life. Then we watched John Carpenter's Ghosts of Mars, which is a movie so bad I actually can't believe John Carpenter made it, but I still remember it. You know, oh, that's not a bold orb. This is the damn rock. Okay, start me with an orbalisk. We'll see, man. We'll see. And then actually look at your map. We want treasure, so drop me, like, drop me here. I'm so pissed. <laughs> it was such a good shot in many ways. Um, give me random navigation. I will sprint and dodge. Ooh. Wait, I could have done that anyway, right? Heal four when reloading. Okay, fine. More treasure, please. Yes, you could have. You can click the map to mark the route you want to take. That may be a mod. I, I, that is a lie that you would not make up. You must have seen that somewhere. Okay, I was lying. What the hell? Why would you say such a reasonable, like, good-natured lie? It completely, like, bypassed all my defenses. That's so mean. Not lying, I saw it in a video. Well, now I can't trust the damn thing you say. You lied to me uh, once, you expect me to believe you this time? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to trust anybody ever again. My witty little own. My witty little Gamora. Hold on. I'd like to... I can't change my targeting midstream. That's fair. Well, I'll just drop this on you then. Um, can you spawn this blue boy, please? Oh, come I didn't even want to hit the bomb. That's why I didn't shoot at it. It's alright. It's still pretty pog. I'm pogging. I 
I would like to land right here and then bounce and hit the crit. <laughs> okay, well, we tried. How does your one of one Crash Bandicoot NFT feel when it hears this music? I don't know where he is, man. I lost my boy. Like, I, I don't think he's been removed from my office. The icicur, eye circle, <laughs> it's impossible to pronounce. He's, he's somewhere in this room. I don't know where he is now though, okay? He's probably in my desk drawer. I told you I moved all this shit around when I was doing my taxes. I was just shoving receipts in like wherever they would fit. He was probably collateral damage because he's such like an important asset to my finances. Then I like, I had to, uh, you know, keep an account of his worth. I probably, I put him in my damn safe. Okay, you, I can drop you anywhere, but I would like to drop you. No, we should discard this one and then get an incredible pierce. Like Chevy Chase. Hey, did anybody else have like a little bit of a um, confusion when Chevy Chase was trending? And then it turns out it's because people were protesting outside of a, a Supreme Court justice's home who lives in a town called Chevy Chase, Maryland. Was the town named after, because there's three options, right? Is the town named after the actor? Is the actor named after the town? Or is it just a coincidence? Because they're all strange options. He changed his own name to be, oh, so Chevy Chase is a pseudonym that he chose to be named after the town, probably because he thought it sounded cool. Okay. I mean, it's just surprising. He became more famous than the town. I don't know if I could write like a letter knowing that my return address was gonna be like 123 Chevy Chase. 123 Saturday Night Live Lane, Chevy Chase, Maryland, 69696. It, you're not wrong. It was kind of like a little bit like an IRL ratio. I live on 123 uh, National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation Street in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Okay, you got to get discarded. His real name is Cornelius Chase. All right, that's kind of sick. I was gonna make fun of him, but he's getting kind of sick with it. I would never make fun of a man called Cornelius. You know why? Because Cornelius is the name of the uh, the based ape from the original Planet of the Apes uh, pentilogy. I don't remember the name of the lady though. What's the lady called the ape that Charlton Heston was gonna have intercourse with? Not not Nova, but the the ape lady. <laughs> it's not it's not Brenda. Zira, that's I knew we'd have another sicko in chat. Zira, yeah. Whatever, take a little damage. Who cares? Watching these throws is painful. Yeah, I know. Okay. I need help. I'm just, I'm out here trying to, just trying to figure out how to play damn Peggle getting cyberbullied, talking about fuck, Mary kill Planet of the Apes actors. I'd still like an orb upgrade. Anything that pierces gets first pick. All the tanks get some echo damage. We take those, we take those. Another, 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 another boss, but no new enemies. This is fine. I would not use the dagger here. I would try to get the piercing as soon as possible. There is another. Yoda, dude. I love that guy. I'm kind of like a big nerd. Like a lot of people in my life don't even know who Yoda is. And then I'm like, mm. 
do or do not, there is no try. And they're like, who is that? Um, Steve Jobs? And I'm like, no, it's Yoda. Can you hit a crit here? Maybe, maybe. It was a perfect drop. It was a perfect waste. Isn't that Morpheus? Neo, there is no Matrix. It's just like they said in the movie The Matrix. Neo, you're the Matrix. Many investors were part of Matrixes throughout history. We're in a little bit of trouble. If I could land this bomb, I would love to target you, but I don't think I can. I think I gotta take you off of this one. I think I, I think I gotta I gotta like land down here. Hit some crits. Sure, I don't know. Disappoint me. Never mind. You did a great job. We're actually going to be totally fine. What was a bigger nerd to mainstream transition? This is a great question. Star Wars or Marvel? I mean, I think comic book nerds were nerdier than people. Like if we go back to like 1998, comic book nerds were way nerdier than Star Wars movie fans. Now, if you read the Admiral Thrawn books, I'm not talking about you. If you were a Wikipedia editor or moderator, I'm not talking about you, okay? But if you were just like, I may the force be with you, uh, I love the movies, then you were more on the normie side than somebody who like goes to the comic book shop. And I'm not passing judgment. But the thing is, the, the superhero, uh, comic book universe got normalized so much more gradually. Tim Burton's Batman, uh, Spider-Man from Sam Raimi, then uh, superhero movies kicked off a little bit, then you get Chris Nolan making them even more in the mainstream with the Dark Knight trilogy, then you get the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Star Wars, I don't even know what that shit is anymore. Like, I don't feel like it's for nerds, but maybe that's because the sequel trilogy is kind of bad. <laughs> Which is, it's very funny to me that that's like the only non-controversial Star Wars take in, in modern parlance, you know? We could argue all day about which one is the worst one, but everybody's like, yeah, fair, it's pretty ass. Can I just hit a refresh, please? Nope, okay. I'm not gonna die, but I'm gonna be mad. Rogue One is pretty good. I don't know how to do this, man. At least you didn't completely thread the needle. I mean, that's why, like, I mean, you can... I don't want to hit a crit here, hold on. You can, like, bat chest this all you want. But, like, is Marvel a little bit of a production line? Yeah, but at least, like, have you seen Star Wars? At least the Marvel stuff is, like, it might be workmanlike, but it's actually competent. Whereas the Star Wars stuff, they just keep making it, and I just keep skipping it. Except for the Mandalorian. Please hit a refresh here. Oh my god, you didn't even hit the crit. You did hit the refresh though, save. Exactly enough. We'll take it. <clears throat> didn't you see all the movies? No, I never watched episode 9 because I got pissed off. Reorganizer. I'll just heal. Additional crits increase shot damage more. Pegboards start with more bombs. I would like more bombs. I would love to land. It, I don't think it really matters. You know what? I'd actually I'd love to get as many question marks as possible. Go left on this one.
Marvel is like how the Harkonnens ran spice production on Araxis before the Atreides took over production. So true, I've often been saying that. I've often been saying that exact same sentence. River Otter, by the way, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Bombs detonate in one hit, holy cow. And then if we can just, if we can simply break all of the orbs, don't we get a super treasure? Bad chest? Attacks deal plus 10 damage to plants? That seems meaningless to me. But, like, I'm still thankful to have it for free. I don't know, maybe we'll get some more plants. That was pretty sick. I mean, we have so many bombs. I feel like we should just... I'd love to just hit one of them. Do you see this cluster over here? Holy cow. Okay, you're not gonna hit one. You're gonna hit like 50. You're actually gonna hit every single bomb. <laughs> but at least all the enemies have now spawned. So let's land it right in between. Yeah, okay. Dude, I think this, this build can go now. Refresh orb, Nosfer orb to docked orb. A, a fully leveled docked orb can be pretty sick. Let's add that one. This crew, you're not wrong. This crew is good. Okay, let's hit every bomb. Mission highly failed, but that's okay. It doesn't have to go anymore. We do plus 10 damage per attack to plants, right? Like it's over for you. Now, don't use your Docked Orb, because you have to upgrade it. Insane. You're all dead. Just kidding. Jericho is playing Switch Sports. It finally caught on. Let's go, dude! Okay, hold on. Convert every eight orbs hit to bombs. I'm having fun again. I'm winning. I'm having fun. I'm winning. Chris Jericho? No, Tucker. Jericho. That's actually how I saw the lady who lit her kitchen on fire. One of our mutuals tweeted, Hey, at Jericho, you gotta watch this. Take a moment to rest. Plus 15 HP, but some question marks. Or I'm, You know what? I'm continuing on my way. I refuse to be baited. Chris Tucker, Jericho? You know what? The, the true irony is that after all that Epstein shit, Chris Tucker, he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Well, okay, he was in Rush Hour 3, but he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 4. Have they made that yet? He ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 5? Oh my god, it's the most plus twos I've ever seen. It's the greatest joke I've ever made. They like me, they really like me. Hey Bixby! Why was Chris Tucker on the Epstein Manifesto? Sorry, manifest. That's a different. <laughs> both, both documents that inspire some fear, but manifesto is a little different. Okay, we want to hit bombs. What a shot, man! We're still going. Oh yeah, hold on. I did say, I did say, hey Bixby. Did it search for anything? Nope. Still pogged. We don't want to use the dock door. Okay, here's the thing. What if I just landed on you? Oh, that's a freebie. Oh, now now create more. Create more bombs. Oh, baby. No. No, we don't. We just want anything with bombs, man. So just heal me. If you're not going to upgrade me, heal me. Okay, we're saved. Apparently, there's a rush hour reboot in the works. Bro, this is where we can finally get 
Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy to be in a non-animated film together. I'm telling you, it's the perfect combo. It still has the culture clash because Eddie Murphy's American and Mike Myers is Canadian. They could have all sorts of cool misunderstandings like um, when Mike Myers says pasta instead of pasta or vice versa. When Mike Myers says bagel instead of bagel. When he says, wow, this, these gang murders are a real plague on our city, Eddie Murphy could be like, he could be confused. He'd be like, what's a, what's a plague? Plague? What's a plague? It could kind of go, man. Oh, I can target you. We should take this. There would be 100 characters in the movie. Yeah, but here's the thing. You only have to pay two actors. It's the perfect crime. I guess I like piercing an enemy here. Oh, but I pierce the first thing I hit as well. Perfectly handled as all things should be. No! Still kind of sick. Yeah, they could be the good and bad guys. Yes, we knew all along, sadly. Okay, we want to cycle faster so we can get more bombs. I just don't buy that shit, man. Like, I don't... It doesn't pass the smell test. That Dr. Evil is Austin Powers' brother. How could they... How could they not know? Like, I just don't buy it. That's like a J.J. Abrams, you know, Rise of the Skywalker sort of thing. Like, did, did J.J. Abrams make the third Austin Powers movie? No. It was Jay Roach and Mike Myers, obviously. They don't even look alike. Like, Dr. Evil is insanely handsome, and Mike Myers is like, or uh, Austin Powers is so damn hairy. Not a good Bob Orb, that's okay. Uh, let me let me get this bomb real quick. Thank you, that was, I can't believe we called a shot that worked for once. What has Mike Myers been up to for the last 20 years? Yo, he's been working on his uh, magnum opus, the Pentaverid, man. I will absolutely upgrade the Bob Orb. Forget the magnet, man. No longer discard? Nah, dude. And the Love Guru. Mm. Actually, it's kind of good. It's not good. I have to take this. Everything else was ass. Okay, yes, Mike Myers was in Inglorious Bastards, but literally he like slides a manila folder across a table and goes like, Her Majesty needs you or something like that. Like that's, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not saying like he didn't, he wasn't in the movie. I'm just saying, I don't know how long that would keep you occupied for, like 10 minutes maybe. He slid the fuck out of it. It was one of the most, I mean, like he owned that. Like I can't slide a manila folder across a table while seated in an old mahogany chair in an impossibly large office without thinking of Mike Myers now. So like he does have that going for him. The hell is this? Orbsium. Infern orb. No, no, no. Dude, we got we got a great setup here. We got nothing to worry about. Send me to the right. I'm willing to go to the right here. All right, maybe I'll just go at Mach 500. Does it ever hurt having a Pog play overstep a 10 out of 10 joke? I'm gonna stop you right there. Things that have never happened. .tezonday.eat. I don't think I've ever had a 10 out of 10 joke, and the Pog plays do not happen very frequently. Great hit. You're not smacking me. We have no bombs. I need to get to the bomb orb as soon as possible. 
we gotta do many discards, but we can't discard the Doctor. Or we, we can't shoot the Doctor, we have to discard it. It hurts my brain you tried to recount the recent career of Mike Myers, you didn't say Shrek? That's cause he, it's not recent. Shrek came out in like, you know, 00 even. Maybe, maybe it was 01, but I mean, that was a long time ago. Okay, bomb orbs incoming. You, you know what, you might as, no, don't refresh me. Refresh me next time. We'll probably break it anyway, because of the mirror. What about the next seven though? I've only seen Shrek 1. I, I'm being honest with you, I haven't even seen Shrek 2. That came out in 2004. I was a little bit more like, mm, I was a little bit more into something like, say, mm, I Heart Huckabees back then. Some more cerebral films, some Miranda July art filmography. I wouldn't expect you to understand. What a shot, okay? What a waste, what a shot, what a waste, what a shot. I was waiting for Sin City to come out. So true. I was convinced uh, Schenectady, New York was going to be the best movie ever made. I was trolling the Charlie Kaufman fan forums. We're not the same. And it was. Yeah, it was. Dot, dot, dot. Comedic pause. Pretentious uh, and middling... Drek. I don't even want. I, just heal me. Sin City's pretty pog, though. I think I just want Benicio del Toro to be in every uh, movie. How about you shut up? What the? Are you Charlie Kaufman? Charlie Ka Charlie Kaufman is like the art George Lucas, and I say this who love as someone who loves adaptation. I love um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I love being John Malkovich. Charlie Kaufman, much like George Lucas, needs someone to say no. He needs to come up with the idea and then have someone in the studio machine be like, Charlie, we're trying to like sell tickets to see this. Can you like put a plot around it? Never? But then you end up with movies like I'm thinking of ending things, which are like pure, <laughs> like a garbage waste of your time, squandering an absolutely incredible cast. Jesse Plemons, David Thewlis, Tony Collette. He, they should just have him make a Marvel movie is honestly probably the, the logical thing for him to do. Is if you could get Charlie Kaufman, cause like isn't the, the Spider-Man director is not doing um, the next Spider-Man movie, right? Like, he says he's done with that. He wants to do, like, some for himself now instead of just doing, like, superhero stuff. They should have Charlie Kaufman do the next Spider-Man movie. And I don't know. Because it would be a great fit. There's some spoilers coming for um, far, uh, No Way Home here, by the way. Some spoilers coming. It's actually, like, pre-built for Charlie Kaufman because Peter Parker's in love with a woman who doesn't know that he exists. And that's Kaufman's fucking wheelhouse, man. That's his whole thing. It's if there was ever a time to get Charlie Kaufman into the MCU, it's right now. Okay, you won me over. Nothing feels good than then the crowd they hate you. They're booing you and then you just say exactly the perfect sentence and you get them back on your side. Oh no, one damage. Or they should just make Adaptation 2. Because that movie goes, man. And plus, Brian Cox, his career's kind of having a moment. They could bring him back. He could, play, he could play the script doctor again. Let me be the doctor. Uh, the doctor upgrader has logged on. No. No, thank you, thank you, thank you.
I think he could do it, man. I've got faith that Charlie Kaufman would make a fucking sick Marvel movie. It just sucks that people are so close-minded, we'll never see it. No, I haven't seen Anomalisa. The only puppets I watch are on Sesame Street. Okay, piercing damage, please. Piercing damage and bombs. Can we get Charlie Kaufman to work on Adam Warlock, please? I think Charlie Kaufman's unique take on unrequited love would add an extra dimension to the character of Adam Warlock, who, I don't know, fucking shoots laser beams out of the center of his forehead or something. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen the character at all, but I imagine it's something similar to that. He fucking flies or something. You know how it goes. Freaking laser beams attached to his freaking head. Is this an elite? Because I feel like he's about to get dangerous. I didn't even mean to make a pun there. I was trying to think of something with like lead speak, like he's about to get owned, but like like a lead hacksaw or something, but I couldn't get there. So the joke was just bad. I'll accept it. A flying superhero. What will they think of next? You You looking at a bird in nature. Oh, wow, flying again. Real original. Uh, sorry, I saw a mosquito do that uh, yesterday. Can you get get some new material, Mother Nature? Yeah, God, come up with some new some new ways of locomoting, please. Check this out. You just gotta you just gotta droop it down right on top of this crit. Please, we're right in there. Look, do it. Okay, there we go. You're all dead. What is Barry Sonnenfeld done lately? Not Jerry Seinfeld. I know it sounds like a fake name that you think Jerry Seinfeld would use. But he did the Adams Family movies, and then he just, like, he's gone, man. I think he did uh, Envy, the movie that almost killed uh, Ben Stiller and Jack Black's film careers. What happened after that? I want none of this. I don't want to heal, though. I think, I, honestly, I, think, well, I guess you heal instead of skip. Projectile attacks have overflow. Insane. This is even more AoE. Envy was funny. I mean, I don't think Envy is as bad as... The critics said it was, but I do think it was really bad. It just wasn't like, you know, 2% on Rotten Tomatoes bad. Incredible, incredible bombs. Cable Guy tier? No, because the, the Cable Guy is actually an amazing movie that's finally being appreciated to the level that it, it's honestly deserved since it came out. It's actually, like, it's crazy to think about how fucked up culture was in the 1990s. Because, like, the cable guy came out, and people thought it might end Jim Carrey's career, because they didn't think it was as good as Ace Venture, A Pet Detective. Or The Mask. I got nothing against The Mask, but the cable guy shits on both of those. Are you kidding me? I'm glad it, it's found its place. The court plot is so good. I, dude, it's every time I watch it, I, I can't wait for Ben Stiller listening to his own 911 call on the stand. I think it was an Asian gang or something. They were speaking another language. I, I think it was Asian. It's he, he sells the delivery and he's on the stand going like. He's uncomfortable listening to it. It's great.
Is that true that The Cable Guy was uh, one of Stephen Hawking's favorite movies? That's so cool. I, is, I love when, and I'm not insulting The Cable Guy, a movie that I love a great deal. I love when very talented people have shit taste. As uh, if you remember my Norbit arc, when I dug into the uh, microfiche of the library, did you know that Brian Wilson, the uh, creative engine behind the only Beach Boys songs that are good and not about surfing, he said Norbit was his favorite movie in like 2008. And he didn't, in the interview, if I remember correctly, he didn't just say, I like that new Eddie Murphy movie, Norbit. He said something ridiculous that was like, you know, he said the director's name. He was like, I like that new Jay Roach picture. My friend is a psych professor with a PhD. His favorite movie is unironically Joe Dirt. It's, dude, honestly, and I, this is not a negative thing. It, like, it's just funny honestly, but like both of my in-laws are so unbelievably highly educated. They spent like 27 years in school to rise to the top of their profession. But I think because they were in like that science is focused academia for so long, um, they didn't develop the same sort of tastes that people who are maybe, I don't want to say well-rounded in like a negative way, but people that had more diverse interests during like the formative years of their life had. So every time we go over to their house, they put Fluffy on the TV. And then I, there's nothing like more awkward than like somebody putting stand-up comedy on the TV and then them laughing at it. Because then if you don't laugh at it, it's like you're passing judgment on them. I'm, I picked up the Wiimote. What am I doing here? Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'll pray to receive the, the second Orbalisk. Why not? We want to get to our good ones as fast as possible. Do this. This is smart. This makes sense. Among Us? I'm gonna win, I think. One time I went over to my coworker's house, he insisted on putting on a Jeff Dunham special. It happens, man. It happens all the time. It's more likely than you'd think. I've been there. I mean, the same friend who I was talking about earlier, where it like blew my mind when I went to his house as a kid and they asked me if I wanted orange juice. I said, sure, and they gave me some orange Kool-Aid. One time I went over to his house and his, he and his whole family were dead ass, unironically watching Walker, Texas Ranger. Like not, this was pre-video on demand. Like they were like, sit down at the TV, Walker, Texas Rangers coming on. They were watching the new episode as it aired. Sure. Yeah, with commercials. <laughs> exactly. My neighbor's favorite movie is Are We There with Ice Cube? Is your neighbor... Well, I think that's one of the... Because there's movies that are like for kids. And then there's movies that are for parents. And then there's movies that hit both and leave out everybody in the middle and everybody at the margins. Are We There Yet is, that's a classic, like, only dads and their sons love that movie. It's like a 9 out of 10 for them. And then if you showed it to, like, a 20-year-old, they would be like, what are you doing? I thought this was Koyanis Katsi. More bombs? Okay, we wish to hit every bomb and get a doubled treasure. Let's go. Deal 2x damage when you're weak. Unlikely. Wouldn't bet on it, but sure. Great reference. There's a lot of great movies I know the names of but have not seen, but can pretend to see. Pretend to have seen, I should say. I'll upgrade an orb. I want even more bombs. You're done. You, you, I don't even want to use the Doctor because I think we need to kill you as fast as possible, but you're done, man. 
I'm gonna land it on a on like a bomb over here, and I'm gonna get carried. I don't even say I bet this dude's never seen Rat Race. I saw that at the Belleville Famous Players Theater. I'm not gonna say the day it came out, but I bet it was in the within the first two weeks of its theatrical run. And even as a child, I was like, this movie's not that good. But I've now been saddled with it for 20 years because everybody else in my generation was not as discerning of a cinematic viewer as I was as a little kid. So they let the brain worm into their nostalgia hole and convince their adult minds that it's actually a good movie when it's merely passable. I mean, there's some funny moments. You should have you should have bought a squirrel. John Lovitz is he's pretty funny in that movie. Let me hit that crit. Okay, that was the worst shot in Earth's history. It's a race and I'm winning. It's another good one. Real Mr. Bean fans know it sucks. They do kind of have Rowan Atkinson playing Mr. Bean. Which I'm like, I'm sure he's... Dude, I've seen, you know, Black Adder. He's got more creative range than that. You don't have to just make him be Mr. Bean just to sell movie tickets. You're right, Charlie Kaufman should make a Rat Race movie. That could go off, man. Like, maybe there could be, like, um... Hear me out, okay? Eight men who... It could also be, like, a retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. Eight men who are all played by unbelievably talented character actors. Let's say Jesse Plemons. Let's say Michael Stuhlbarg. Let's say William Fichtner. Um, you know what? Will Forte in a rare dramatic turn that actually gets him onto some, like, like best actor nominee list, perhaps. You never knew that Will Forte had this kind of range. They're all in love with... Um, who's the female lead from Palm Springs? I know her name when I see it. It's got two C's in it. She's got big eyes, not Kate Beckinsale. Christine Melody, thank you. Christine Melody, okay. So they're all in love with her, but she's about to leave to go work at McMurdo Base in Antarctica um, for 10 years. They all have to rush to the New Zealand airport to stop her. They're kind of like working together but not working together and they're all a little sad. This movie could fuck, dude. This, I know I've said this before. I feel like I should work in Hollywood. Is there a space open for like an ideas guy? Like I know they're probably, they, it, it, you might say ideas are cheap, uh, you wouldn't know it when you look at the dreck that's been coming out in the theaters lately. You know what I mean? <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, have you seen this stuff? We desperately need to hit a refresh, by the way. So I think they could use some good ideas. I don't really care if they come from me. Ooh, what? Movie ideas are for idea guys that can't code. Holy cow. That's, it's an unbelievable insult. That's an incredible soul read. Luckily it doesn't apply to me uh, because I can program. I have an associate's diploma in software engineering. So, but like if I couldn't program, that would hurt. Since I'm really, really good at it, I can just put myself in the shoes of somebody that would have really felt that one. I need to hit a refresh orb. Please? More? We did it? Holy cow, we actually, I don't believe it. And we're at full HP, and you thought I nearly died. <laughs> Get owned. Yes? Previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed. Yes, even if it makes them weaker, I'm all in, man. 
Oh, that guy doesn't even one hit KO. Oh, oh, it's the other wall that one hit KOs. Oh, big whoop. We smoking that bomb pack? Rip Bozo? Holy cow. That was not even close to as much damage as I thought it would be, given the circumstances. It's fun. I, here's my thing with Peglin. The game is at its most fun when the ball bounces as much as possible. And we're kind of doing that now. What are you doing? Yes, thank you. Thank. We need more refreshes. Yes. Yes, it's over. It's over for you. Sweetheart. You must beware the red bombs. What if I just never got a map that had them? Upgrade me? Upgrade me? Place me? No. Okay. Burp, 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 burp. Orbalisk targeting boss. I love it. It's a great start. I don't even think we have to, like, pay attention. I think the way this level is set up, plus magnet, means we just click the button. I'm not saying it's a one-hit KO, I'm just saying I have no influence on whether it turns out positively or negatively. Dude, can I tell you as well? So I went to the Twitch homepage yesterday to uh, find somebody to watch. Because I don't know if you guys are in the same, maybe you have different people followed than me but nobody i followed was live yesterday past like 4 p.m it's a wednesday streamers be like oh we work too much wednesday at 8 p.m nobody's live anyway for once the twitch homepage didn't serve me music and it was a it was somebody playing super auto pets he, within the five seconds I went to the homepage, he hit, like, the wall. He died, but he had gotten, like, uh, seven or eight wins or something like that. And he said, wow, I really like this game. You know what? This game is so much better than I expected. This could be my effing around game. And I was like, let's go. It was, it was such kismet. It was so fortuitous. It's Twitch, the algorithm, hey, any devs watching this, any Twitch devs watching this, keep tightening up that algorithm. For four years, it only served me music, and I can tell you exactly why, because it algorithmically tells you, or gives you on the homepage what you watch, but I didn't watch anything on Twitch, so every time I went to the homepage, it served me music, and then it said, this guy loves watching music, it makes up like 100% of his watch time. Um, and then they, it became like a vicious cycle where they just kept serving me more and more like Amazon music, country music concerts on the front page over and over. But now you got me on that Super Auto Pets front page and I'm like, let's go. I don't know what's happening here. But we do have a lot of bombs. Like, I, we might be about to send out 50 bombs. But that's not actually, like, that much damage. When you consider how much HP this guy's got. And the fact that we have weaker bombs. Why don't the orbs do anything? Like, why don't the orbs do any damage? Because your crit is zero? Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. But I'm... I'm creating bombs. 
while I do this, but then I'm blowing the bombs up. That's fine. This is okay. This is not negative. This is positive. All right. If you don't like that, you don't like gaming, okay? <laughs> that was freaking sick, dude. Okay, give me one of these. Uh, land me in here. There's no way you missed the crit. I, like, it's just with the magnet, it's not possible. It's not conceivable. I'd love to hit the refresh orb as well. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Look at all these bombs. It's the most bombs I've ever seen. You know what we need is bombs clear nearby pegs. I've decided this game is good again. I don't know what they changed, because it sure as hell was not me. It will come back to you. So true. When you hit the... When you hit the uh, the R peg, I'm like, peg. They will come back to you. Oh, it's because I didn't take weighted chip. That's what changed. Oh man. Still really good. I mean, we gotta hit a refresh on this one. Just drop it in here. You'll be fine. What? It it's. Did you see it save itself? It almost died and then it cleaned its own mirror. Oh yeah, also the bomb not despawning. That that also is helpful, you're not wrong. Remember when we, we were on the final boss and we had some incredible shots, but the ball stayed still for 1.2 seconds, so it went like, uh... Disqualified. Plays Isaac and gets a damage upgrade. Wow, this game's pretty pog. Yeah, but why are we talking about, like, fan fiction? Playing Isaac and getting a damage upgrade? Come on. That's ridiculous. Playing Isaac and getting mom's fetid toenail? Plus 0.13 shot speed multiplied by the number of mom's footwear items you have. Plus your tears turn to a milky beige. I mean, I think I just like a bold orb. Holy cow. Bombs do more. Okay, we can't take red bombs, though it would be funny. But we can take every third peg hit provides explosive force until the board is refreshed. Although, we refresh the board quite frequently. But still, I'll take that. Howard. I did red bomb bomb build. It was funny, but it just killed my ass. Can't run it back again. You gotta get some new material. I would like to do some piercing damage. I have not created enough bombs. We need an item that allows our bombs like our bomb orb to be at the top of the board every time i need this to be the first thing i get every time hit the refresh hit that refresh oh my god he did it <laughs> oh man oh i don't want this yet we need to get more bombs popping We can create more bombs. Every 30 pegs we hit creates a bomb. Every refresh brings all the bombs back. That's more like it. That's more like it. Not that it's gonna matter. Holy cow. We are going to the moon. He is going to the moon. I'll upgrade an orb. Even better bombs. I will go right here. Ooh, what a shot, dude. Holy cow. A weathered old peglin. Yeah, I'll flip the chip. You lose. I'll flip the chip. 
you got I skip the other peglin gives you a wry smile and hands over the chip I don't think so I skip I, I don't see it in my relic list I'm okay with that we want to get to bombs faster thank god All of your damage is bomb damage, which isn't affected, but I get it. Yeah, I, you look, I mean, I, I didn't really think about that. That's a valid point. But it's like a fool me once, you know. There's known knowns. You know, there's things we know we know. There's uh, known unknowns, which are the things that we know we don't know. But then there's also... The unknown unknowns, which are the things that we don't know that we don't know. And that's what really scares me. Give me an even better bold orb. What the hell are you talking about? It's Donald Rumsfeld. I am not, many people have accused me of being a Donald Rumsfeld stan. This is not true. However, sure, I'll approach the Echo and upgrade myself. I did, look, President George W. Bush said some stupid things during his career. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, won't get fooled again. Also said, being... Uh, a dictatorship would be pretty good as long as I was the dictator. Things you should not say when you're the president. However, Donald Rumsfeld's known unknowns and unknown unknown speech always got lumped in with the Bushisms. And I thought it was kind of a salient point. There are things you know you know. There are things you know you don't know. But you should be scared of the things that you don't know that you don't know, because how are you so you don't even have a model to understand them? But people were like, well, unknown unknowns, it doesn't make any damn sense. It's it's an eloquent point. Anyway. Not NL standing a war criminal. Hey! It's not standing. It's when I was a kid, it was called being a fanboy. I don't know what all this standing stuff is. I didn't make my Twitter profile photo, Donald Rumsfeld, and like uh, every day be like, oh my God, 10 times Donald Rumsfeld totally understood the assignment. Heal one for every 12 pegs hit. Huge. And also, can I get a second relic, Pippin? What the hell? Okay, red bombs. It's a little spooky. We hit none of we hit one of them. That seems great for me. I'm not that scared of this, honestly. Just don't hit that many red bombs forehead. That's not that bad. We're still pogged. Wouldn't mind getting down to that docked orb, to be honest with you. All right, that was not good. I'm going to discard. I would love to get down to this docked orb. No way. Missed all red bombs. He's the greatest Peggle player of all time. Okay, just hit anything. Hit anything challenge failed. Whatever. We'll just heal off this anyway. Just heal me. Watch this, watch this, watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna thread the damn needle, man. Watch this, watch this. We gotta use, it's like Apollo 13. We gotta just go around like this. <laughs> what a shot. Wall bounces contribute to damage, sure. And then watch this. Let's go! Attacks deal extra damage to slimes. Me making 
eye contact with my wife's DoorDash driver. Okay. I don't know if we're ever going to see any more slimes, but... I'm going right, man. I'm a little scared here. When my wife's DoorDash driver brings me some pan-fried dumplings. Okay, we want a bold orb. Go off. Don't. We have our own magnet. We don't need a black hole. We have our own magnet. Ooh. I don't want to use my docked orb. It disappoints me. Well. We're about to take a little hit. That's okay. No, we're not, because we're about to... We're about to take a little crit. That's a slap in the damn face. We need to get the bombs faster. Dude, bro, I hate this corner pocket nonsense. Get out of here. Whatever, six damage. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Scott. Don't, don't rush me. Okay, let's, I'm gonna get you this time anyway, so I'm not even concerned. Watch this. The better the run is, the saltier I'll be if I lose for real. So like, just get ready for this, okay? Cause we're approaching <laughs> a run so good, it could kill the series. Torched. I'm gonna start with an upgrade perhaps. You know what? Let's just stay frosty. Let's take our heels. Drop me down the dead center. No, you can do this. You just got to Apollo 13 it. Okay, it's in God's hands now. Just the way we drew it up. Okay, this is bomb. We want to do as many bombs as possible. Mission accomplished. Black hole in the center seems like, I was about to say, seems amazing for us. I regret that, but there's still a lot of bombs. And we reflected almost no damage back on ourselves. Forget the docked orb. Sure, I'll run a little icicle if I have to, I guess. Get body. Small body, okay, and then run it again. Dude, it's over. Don't say I'm in the middle of a League of Legends game about to close it out. When my wah, wah, wah brings in a wah, wah, not asked for, please. I am in the middle of a Poglin match about to close it out. You guys have a problem, okay? He was just saying what we were all thinking. Please. No, 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 Center. Center me. Okay, never mind. Can you center me? Oh! I would like to dash through the flames and not take fireballs. What the hell is this? And also... What's her at? Okay. Right here. Bounce off the right side. Hit the bombs in the center. Refresh them. I mean, I feel like th just the way the final boss is set up, like, are we not um, predetermined to go infinite on the final boss? All we need is, like, if you hit... Uh, Every 30 pegs, you get, like, a free refresh. How about one of these? Double bomb me? Oh, send me right down to the Shadow Realm? I'm about to be kidnapped. I need a refresh orb. Refresh orb? Dendi? Refresh orb? It was horrendous! 
10 damage. Okay. Bro, I can't because of the magnet. I can't generate the the force to get up. I got to I got to land it on the refresh down here. Oh, you haters. Never mind. Okay, we're back. We're back. But you got to go off. I mean, you got to go off. Please, some some positive momentum, some some anti gravity. Free some refreshes from their refresh prison. That was astute. It had to be done. Huge hit, great screen shake. Ten times the screen shake understood the assignment. We gotta free some refreshes from their refresh prison here. Mission highly failed, but echo damage. Less than I would like. Refreshes, please. I think we're gonna live. I mean, I feel like we can do better with a docked orb. We can heal for more than 10. Okay, never mind. Please, please. It's just driving me crazy. Ooh, get in there, please. Okay, we hit the refresher. That's all I could ask for. Huge. Huge. Let's you're dead. You're dead. Oh my god, dude. The bombs, like, or the just the structure of this level was horrendous. Heal me. Crits refresh as well. Yeah, All additional crits is also interesting, but I think we need more refreshes as much as possible. Holy cow. That arena is so cursed. Yeah, I'll take negative 50 max HP considering the circumstances. Steal one life from the selected enemy for every five pegs hit. That seems pretty good. Now we're going to fight a QR code that lets you look at the restaurant's menu. Piercing is going to be good enough for us. I don't think we need to go, like, get to the bombs as fast as possible. This seems like it's going to be good enough. That seemed pretty good. Oh no. Now, let's get to the bombs as fast as possible. We need, we'd like to hit this refresher orb like Dendi at TI4. Ten times NL didn't understand the assignment. Okay, bombs. Bombs literally just go chaos mode. I won't say goblin mode. I know it offended some people yesterday when I said We've never had a president that goes uh, goblin mode. A couple people said NL bad look, bad take. I got a, my publicist talked to me, said please do not refer to the president going goblin mode anymore. And I said, okay, what sponsor complains? And they said Lockheed Martin, and I said, that's a big one. We can't be killed. That's true, crits are refreshers as well. Crits can refresh too, go on, brush your shoulders off. It's, it's 2017. Crits can refresh too, get over it. Refresh me, refresh me. How, thank you, that's all I could ask for. It's. It's actually over. This is going to be like a 40 damage turn. Uh, 40,000 maybe. <laughs> just, my brain is shut off. <laughs> 40. Surely not that high. Really? 40? Don't stop till you're numb. Okay, so we're taking damage. That don't impress me much. 
Oh, we, no, we should have stuck with the Orbalisk because we could do damage in a column, but that's fine. Still really good. Refresh me. We, this is high refresh potentiality. You're, you're right in the middle of all the orbs that refresh. You can't, you can't miss them. Piercing damage doesn't really help us here, but we don't want to go to our Doc Orb. The Doc Orb is irrelevant. We basically just want a lethal you here. Dude, it's 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 doable. It's actually this is a doable lethal. It is a weird final boss. I guess I gotta give him some credit, because like most games are just like, hey, here's like a dragon or your mom. But this is a QR code. Mine's complete, you win. Well, dude, 